Princess Sophia, big party excitement in the palace. At the end of the story, three surprise questions await you. Please subscribe and like the video. Thanks! Princess Sophia woke up with a start. Today was the big day. The palace was buzzing with excitement as everyone prepared for the grandest party of the year. Sophia's best friends, Oliver the Owl and Mia the Mouse, were already waiting for her in the garden. Good morning, Princess Sophia, chirped Oliver, flapping his wings with joy. Are you ready for the big party? I can't wait. Sophia exclaimed, twirling around in her pink nightgown. But first, we need to decorate the ballroom. Let's go. The trio hurried to the ballroom, where they found a mountain of decorations. There were glittering streamers, colorful balloons, and shiny confetti. Sophia, Oliver, and Mia worked together, transforming the ballroom into a magical wonderland. Oliver hung the streamers from the chandeliers, while Mia tied the balloons to the chairs. Sophia sprinkled confetti on the tables, making everything sparkle. Just as they finished, the palace doors opened, and guests began to arrive. Princes and princesses from nearby kingdoms, talking animals, and even a friendly dragon named Draco filled the room. The band started playing, and everyone danced and laughed. In the middle of the celebration, Sophia noticed Draco sitting alone in a corner. She walked over and asked, Draco, why aren't you dancing? Draco sighed, I'm too big and clumsy. I don't want to ruin the party. Sophia smiled warmly. Everyone is welcome at my party. Let's find a way for you to join the fun. Sophia gathered her friends and explained the situation. Oliver had an idea. Draco, why don't you play the drums? You can keep the rhythm for everyone. Draco's eyes lit up. I'd love to. He picked up the drumsticks and began to play. The music grew louder and more lively, and everyone cheered. Draco was amazing. The party continued long into the night, with Sophia and her friends having the best time ever. As the stars twinkled above the palace, Sophia knew this was a day she'd never forget. Questions what did Princess Sophia and her friends use to decorate the ballroom? Why was Draco the dragon sitting alone in a corner? How did Draco contribute to the party after Sophia talked to him?